Today, we are going to be working on adjusting the colors and images automatically. So, I highly recommend, obviously, if you want to make a picture look good, a photo look good, obviously take it well with good lighting. Uh, but you can go into GIMP, you can adjust the levels, the curves, and maybe the brightness and contrast. Those things, it only doesn't take very long. If you want me to do a tutorial on that, on the techniques I use, I'll be glad to do that. But sometimes you just have a whole lot of photo and photos and you want to go through all of them and just do automatic adjustments. Well, that's what we're going to be looking at today. Now, if your photo already has good lighting, you're not going to notice much of a difference when running this application or really doing any adjustments on it. Uh, but, and, and a lot of cameras nowadays, you know, all our phones and whatnot, take fairly good pictures. Uh, so I went back and found some older photos. So here's a photo of my grandmother and her husband and three of my nieces from probably 15 years ago. And so there's that photo. And then the rest of them, so this is my, my grandmother's wedding. And these photos, I have three of them here, were actually just in a photo album. I pointed my camera at them and took pictures. So not only are they not the best quality because they're just a photo from my phone snapped off a, an album, but also they're just old and faded. And we're going to just, again, just run automatic adjustment and see if they look any better. The program we're going to use, so on the left here, I'm in the directory with those four photos. Photo, photo two, photo three, photo four. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to install an application called AA Photo. I already have it installed, but you'd run it, install it with your package manager, and it does a lot of other things, but we're just going to run it basic command. We're going to type in AA Photo and give it one of those photos. We'll just give it photo.jpg. Boom. And right away, if I list out again here, you can see it automatically creates photo new. We'll take whatever the, the image name is and add underscore new to it. So here's the original, and if I go this, this way, no, wait, where is it? Somewhere. Oh, I was looking at the wrong photo. <laughs> it's this photo. So you can see the original, the adjusted, the original, the adjusted. So it's a little bit, but let's try it running it on another one. Let's go ahead and run a, a photo on photo2.jpg. And again, if I list it out, we have photo2 underscore new. Now you can see right here, the original, uh, that looks a lot better. Obviously, again, you could probably do a lot better if you did it manually, but if you want to just automatically do it, this is a fairly good option. So let's go ahead. I'm going to remove uh, any of the files with the word new in it. So we're back to the originals. You don't have to give it one at a time. You can say AA photo and just say, hey, all the photos in this directory. Boom, 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 boom. And now we can go through and look at all the adjustments. So here's one. There's the adjusted, the original, the adjusted, the original, the adjusted, the original, the adjusted. So you can see just doing this works great. It almost seems like it's just doing an auto level to it because when you do auto levels in something like GIMP, it kind of brightens it up like this when the colors are, are lost like that. But again, I can give you tutorials on manually doing this stuff and making it look a lot better if you'd like. Just let me know in the comments below. But AA Photo, it does more than just uh, the photo adjustments like that. If I do like, a, if I just run a photo, you can see dash H. It does other things. It will rotate uh, photos, flip photos, give you different outputs. Uh, it gives you some example here's on some commands you can run. So look into that, but just the automatic adjustments is what I was looking at today. And uh, if you have a bunch of especially older photos like this, again, a lot of newer photos you take with your cell phone in halfway decent light lighting, you're not gonna notice much of a difference because they're, they're already adjusted. They're, they were taken properly. But especially if you have old photos like this, uh, to pop out those colors again, just writing this command on it can make a big difference. So I uh, thank you for watching. Films by Chris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. I hope that you have a great day.